Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and I'm excited to bring you another episode absolutely free. This episode is one of many released every month, totaling over 80 episodes so far. Each one is meticulously digitally restored and stored in the cloud for your convenience, a process that incurs costs. To help cover these expenses, you might hear some advertisements throughout the episode. While we do retain the original commercials for historical authenticity, you may also encounter modern ads, which help keep the lights on. If you prefer an ad-free experience, we offer a couple options. You can listen to the episodes on YouTube. You can also support us by becoming a patron on our Patreon page. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash donate. Again, otrwesterns.com slash donate. I do want to emphasize that we are committed to providing this content to you for free, but also we have to be transparent about the financial realities to bringing this to you. Now, let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Adventures of Well, Bill Hickok. Original air date is October 10th, 1952, and the title is One More to Get. Hope you enjoy. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, presents Wild Bill Hickok! your hats and gallop along with Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We've got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from the world's only talking cereal, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, Kellogg's Rice Krispies! Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, One More to Get. Take a fellow who likes breakfast, set him down in front of a big heap and bowl of Kellogg's Rice Krispies, and then just watch his eyes light up. And after the first tasty spoonful, well, you can bet he'll be back for more soon. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, so good, so fresh, so crisp. Have Mom put a package on her shopping list today for sure. Then tomorrow, enjoy bowls of Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. No lawmen were ever as relentless in their hunt for criminals as United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his bull-strong deputy Jingles. That's why headquarters sent them after the Roman Gaul train robber gang in Texas. This made the Texas Railroad men send up a shout because they knew Wild Bill and Jingles would never give up as long as there was one more to get. Jingle, wake up. Wake up, Jingles, you're snoring again. <clears throat> oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Those wheel clicks put me to sleep. Bill, I'm getting doggone tired of riding train. Why, Jingles, a month ago you said that was your favorite sport. Well, that was a month ago. Now I've had so many cinders in my poor eyes, I feel like a cold scuttle. We've been on every train from El Paso to Dallas and the Big Sandy to Cutler's Draw and we ain't seen hiding the hair of them bandits. We'll get them yet, partner. <laughs> Wild Bill Hickok, you're the stubbornest, mule-headed Jasper Wild I did. Wild Bill Hickok, I knew it. Huh? Well, I've just been set across the aisle there staring like a girl in pigtails. I knew it was you, Mr. Hickok. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> you like excitement, man? Oh, yes, I certainly do. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit down by you? No, no, (laughs) ma'am. Not if you can find room. (laughs) I'm Aunt Sarah. That's what everybody calls me. Glad to meet you, Aunt Sarah. And I'm Jingle. How do you do, Jingle? Well, pretty good, except for a little stiffness in my legs from sitting so long. Oh, I couldn't help but hearing you talking about train robbers. Are you on the train with some now? We sure are, Aunt Sarah. Jingle. And are you going to catch him, do you think? We sure are, ma'am. It's the Roman Gaul Gang. Jingles. Oh, I've done it again, huh? The Roman Gaul Gang? 
Why, they've been spreading terror over Texas for months. One end to the other. Yes, and we know it. And we aim to put a stop to it, too. Oh. They know you're looking for them. Oh, no, ma'am. We keep things like that a secret, don't we, Bill? Hmm. Won't they be surprised? <laughs> I'd like to see their faces. So would I, Aunt Sarah. Jennison! Next stop, Jennison! Where are we, conductor? Jennison, Texas, ma'am. And you getting off at Denison? Oh, my, no. I'm going all the way to Dallas to visit my daughter and her husband. Oh, won't you be surprised? I'd like to see their faces. What? <laughs> Ain't having much luck catching up with them bandits, are you, Mr. Hickok? Jingles told me all about it. Oh, doggone it anyway. Not yet, Conductor, but they'll slip sooner or later. Well, here we are. Denison. Hold out for Denison. Bill, what are we going to do? Can't start a gun battle here, partner. Too many people, somebody might get hurt. Now everybody stay right where you are. First Jasper reaches for a gun, is reaching for a pair of wings. That's Sidewinder. Just watch for a good chance to jump him, Jingle. Tony! Yeah, boss? You and Sox take them flower sacks down the aisle. All right, shut out, folks. Money, watches, and jewels, give it all. Don't hold nothing back if you like living. Well... <laughs> If I ain't a ring-tailed buzzer, look who's fell in my bag. Wild Bill Hickok! Say, Slim, what's a riata? Well, Sir Charlie, that's actually short for la riata, which in Spanish means the rope. That's where we get our American word, lariat. You know, what the cowboys use to rope cattle and horses. Say, those words do sound pretty much alike, don't they? Both are kind of pleasant sounds, too. Of course, now, when it comes to sounds, I may be a little prejudiced. I just don't think there's anything that sounds any better than the snap, crackle, pop of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Those friendly sounds that you get as soon as you pour a little milk or cream over your bowl of Rice Krispies. Yes, sir. Those are good sounds because they signal that good eating is just ahead. And now, here's the signal to join in on our Rice Krispies song. Ready? Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Let's march right up to the table now. Rice Krispies taste the best. And how? Snap, crackle, pop. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice now, if you want to make Rice Krispies into an extra special treat, try them with your favorite fruit or berries. Oh, they sure are good that way. But whether you have Rice Krispies with or without fruit or berries, you'll like their fresh, crisp flavor. Have Mom mark a package down on her shopping list today. <laughs> Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles decided the best way to catch a train robber was to ride the train. But when Roman Gall and his gang pulled the hold up at Denison, Texas, Bill and Jingles were caught in the crowded car. Hey, look, boys. Right off the end of my gun. Wild Bill Hickok. Well, if it ain't the marshal himself and his big, windy deputy. Yeah, and if this car wasn't packed with innocent people, you'd have so many holes in your ornery hides you could pass for window screen. Oh, come on, boss, before the town gets wise to what's going on. You got all the folks offering? Sure, both sacks loaded. Hey, lady, you holding out that gold watch pinned on your shoulder? Now, you can't have that. Oh, sure he can, lady. You see, I'll just take you. Now, Jingles, I got this one, Bill. Hey, buddy, you want to get loose? Get away and I'll shoot him. No, you don't go. Boss, get this big ape mm. off of me. Turn loose on me, Hickok. Boss, ball, shoot. Oh, I'm getting out of here. You can keep them two pumps, Hickok, but you didn't hit me. Oh, you won't get far, Gaul. I've done it anyway. I wish I had four hands. You ain't keeping me, Hickok. I haven't got much time to waste on you, suck. Attaboy, Bill. Well, I got the handcuffs on this one. Let's take him to jail. No, partner. Handcuff them together, and then you can take him to the sheriff at Sherman. I'm going after Gall. Well, you'll never get him, Hickok. Gall knows every trick in the book. But, Bill, 
<laughs> Me take those two hombres in alone? Sure, Jingles. You won't have any trouble with them handcuffed. Just keep the key in your pocket and stay awake. Oh, doggone it, Bill Hickok. I don't like this. Here's a key. I'm getting buckshot out of the freight car. Wait for me in Sherman and stay awake. He'll stay awake, Mr. Hickok. He starts nodding, I'll poke him with my hat pin like this. Ow! <laughs> Hi, Buckshot. Hi, boy. We got his trail now. Let's get after him. Hi, Buckshot. Hi. Here you are, Jingles. Another piece of fried chicken. Aren't you glad I packed a big lunchbox for my trip to Dallas? I sure am, Aunt Sir. I reckon this makes up for you sticking me with that hat pin. Hey, Aunt Sir, do we get none of that fried chicken? Yeah, you gonna let that big potato bag eat it all up? Oh, I'm starving. Me too. We ain't eat since yesterday. Such language. You mean you ain't eaten since yesterday? Well, sure, that's what he said. Well, you don't deserve to eat, train robbers. Now, Jingles, I couldn't stand to see nobody go hungry. Can you manage with them handcuffs on? Oh, sure. We're used to them. Yes, and we wear them a lot. All right, here you are. Uh, That's all there is. Oh, shucks. Well, I sure do thank you, ma'am. Don't you go to sleep, Jingles. Remember my hat pin. Oh, don't my I won't answer. Well, I'm going to sit back over there where there's more room. But I'll be watching you. So stay awake, like Mr. Hickok said. Yes, sir. Oh, those rails clicking sure do sing a nice restful tune. Go on and go to sleep, Jingles. No, sirree. I must stay wide awake. Real wide awake. Roan, head for that river. Nosey Hickok thinks he's going to stop Roman Gaul from Roman, does he? <laughs> I got plenty more tricks up my sleeve. Get in there! Now we'll head upstream and come out on the same side and hit the trail up the singing cave. That Hickok wants to follow me there, he's going to be a dead goose. Now, out on the bank! Yeah, over! Up the trail! Up boy! Now let the high and mighty wild Bill figure that one out. Socks, jingles, and dead to the world now. What about the old lady? Wait. Yeah, and Sarah's catnapping too. Now's our chance. This is one time picking pockets is gonna be a cinch. Watch. Easy now. Don't wake him up. Me? What you think I am? Am I amateur? Just a quick twist of the wrist. Two sneaking fingers and presto. <laughs> Here's the key. Okay, unlock these here handcuffs pronto. All right. There's one. Now you unlock mine. All right. He's waking up. Hurry, let's go. No, 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 not so fast. Now, he's by the old lady and head for that water cooler down by the door like we was getting a drink. Then we run through the door, jump off the train, and go help Gaul take care of Hickok. Yeah, and that's going to be a downright pleasure. And ain't Jingles going to be surprised when he wakes up? <laughs> yeah. Sure would like to see his face. Well, I just dropped off for a bit. How are you coming? Oh, my land sakes. Oh, they're gone. Jingles, they're gone. Jingles. Look at him. Where's my hat pin? Stop the train! Where's that train card? I've got to get Joker and chase him. What's the matter here? Jingles, get away from that card! The train robbers got away, conductor! I've got to stop the train. I'm pulling the card! No, no, we're going too fast. I've got to stop it. Here it goes! 
there! Now you've done it! Stop this train! Stop it, I said, right now! <laughs> Easy, Buckshot. This gall's full of tricks. Looks like he headed across the river here, but we'll look upstream. Find a double back and going uphill instead. Who, Buckshot? Yeah, let me have a look. Yeah, came out of the water here, all right. Tried to fool us again, Buckshot boy. Tracks lead up that rock trail there to the right. After him. they have been watching us, huh? Hiding in the rocks. No okay, we'll smoke him out. We've wasted enough time already. Get him before he tries any more tricks. Hi, Buckshot, hi! Blast this razorback cayuse. I wish we'd have found some saddles laying around that pasture, Boney. Yeah, we was lucky to steal these horses, let alone saddles. We sure got away from that jingle slick as a whistle. Yeah, it sucks. I'd have liked to have seen his face when he woke up and found us gone. Hey, I just thought, he had his horse in that freight car. What if he takes out after us? Don't worry, he won't bother us none. And we got to catch up to Gaul. Where do you reckon Gaul hit for? Singing Cave, of course. That's where he always traps any law man's got sand enough to get on his trail. Uh, he'll have Hickok running up and down the hill like a mountain goat with all his tricks. Yeah. But once that nosy marshal sets a foot inside a singing cave after Gaul, he's done for. You forgetting Hickok's kind of tricky, too? No, no, I ain't. So I figure when that meddling star packer walks into singing cave, we better be there to walk in behind him. Just to make sure he don't ever come out again. Let's ride. Well, now, I'm all fired sorry about that, Aunt Sarah, but I can't wait around to fix it. It's all right, Aunt Sarah. Nobody's hurt. Just woke him up a little. See, Aunt Sarah? Now, goodbye. I gotta go get Joker and go. Jingle? Jingle, you come back here. Doggone it. Get away from me with that hat pin. I got big things to do. So have I. Not to me, you haven't. Oh, please now, Aunt Sarah. Quit picking on me. Ain't I in enough trouble already? Well... All right. Open that car door and get going. Well, that's just what I'm doing. Well, hello, Joker boy. Meet Aunt Sarah. You see, he likes you. Come on, Joker, jump. Oh, here, you break a leg. Not Joker. He could jump twice that far and land light as a feather in your hat. Now watch. Come on, Joker. Up, Sir Daisy. There you are. How's that, Aunt Sarah? Now I gotta be going. So long, stretch out, Joker, and get them manners. Oh! Say, kids, have you started your collection of Kellogg phony faces? Those big, colorful, cutout masks that you find on the backs of Kellogg's cornflakes packages? Gosh, you really have to see these masks to appreciate how wonderful they are. There are eight masks in all, and every one of them will make you look funnier than a clown. Well, with one of these masks, you can look just like a cannibal. With another, just like an Indian. You can be sure that lots of other kids in your crowd will be getting these masks, and that's when the fun really begins. What a time you'll all have playing with these masks and trading them among yourselves. Now, to get these masks, you don't have to send in any money, coupons, or box tops. All you have to do is have your Kellogg's Corn Flakes for breakfast. On the backs of the packages, you'll find your cutout masks. It's as simple as all that. So you have your mom get a package of Kellogg's Corn Flakes next time she goes shopping. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the cereal that's always fresh because it sells so fast. Who do you know, who do you know, who do you know, who doesn't like Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Who do you know, who do you know, who do you know? Not a solitary soul that doesn't like Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Who do you know?
With the gang leader, Roman Gall, in the lead, there was a four-way chase going for the hills. Gall was chasing after safety in Singin' Cave, Wild Bill Hickok was chasing Gall, Boney and Sox were after Wild Bill, and Jingles was bringing up the rear. When Gall reached the cave's mouth, he figured he was safe from Hickok. Whoa, Roman! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hickok thought he could catch me, huh? All right, get off the right. Yeah! Just one more shot to delay that saddle tramp. Hey, he's closer than I thought. All right, let him follow me into this cave. I'll give him the surprise of his Hold life. Hold it right there, Gall. Put Hickok! That's right, first guess, but your ain's a little rust. Don't try to pick that gun up again. How'd you get up here in this cave ahead of me? I learned a trick or two from the mountain goats. Now we'll just head back down that passage. Here. Yeah, but who was that shooting at me back out there? Well, I figured it was you shooting in my shadow. Somebody was shooting back. And I reckon we got some unexpected company. Yeah, it is, and they're coming in here. One peep out of you, go, and you got trouble. You just watch your step, Hickok. You ain't got me in jail yet. Get back in the shadows. Quiet! Doggone, I don't hear nothing. Me neither. Sounds like bony and socks. I thought you had them, Hickok. I left them with... Never mind. Oh. Hey, Gall, it's bony and socks. You in here? Yeah, it's us. We got away from that big ape deputy, Hickok's. Hey, maybe Gall didn't make it. Hey, you two vermin, stand where you are! Only a Jimmy. I thought you said he couldn't trail us. Get him! Jingles, look out! It's all for you, Hickard! <laughs> you shouldn't have turned your head, Marshal. Now try and get me. Come on, boy! Come on, Sox, we got Jingles. Yeah, you all got Hickard. Look, he ain't moving. Hey, Gall, wait up for us. Don't pull up that plank. Well, hurry up, you jerk head. Why, there ain't no hurry, boss. Them two are stone cold. We can sweep them up and drop them down the underground river anytime. All right, and I'll come back on across. Got a lantern here. We can get rid of Hickok and Jingles right now. <laughs> Jingles. Hey, partner, can you talk? No, doggone it, I can't. Those two feather-footed sidewinders, they slickered me out of the key when I wasn't looking and got clean away right under my nose. While you were asleep? Yeah, I was up there. I know, doggone, oh, doggone it anyway. It's all right, partner. Did they hit you? I've been so mad I couldn't look. They must have. Things went black all of a sudden, and let me see. Well, my legs is moving and my arms. My nose is still there. My head, I won't oh, build my head. It's bleeding. Try getting up. Oh, <laughs> I'm right dizzy, Bill, and I hear noises. You sure do. Quick now, get back in the shadows. Skull coming back. Yeah, you got your guns, Bill? No, couldn't find them in the dark. Now we're really in for it. You stay back. I'll try to take them. I won't do no such a thing. Hey, Gall. Wasn't this about where you hit Hickok? Yeah. Hey. He ain't here. Here I am, Gall. I'll Wait, take that lantern. Hickok. He's it. got the lantern. Shoot him. Get him. Yeah. You can't hit Where him. Right. You can't see him, boy. Wait in, Bill. Right. Only I thought we shot this big ape. Well, yeah. Yeah. Be wait, wait that lucky son of a luck's gonna get worse right now. This time when I hit you, you'll stay here, Hickok. Yeah, I'm waiting. Go. I got one of them, Bill. Hey, get off of me. You heard him? Get off of me. I'm gonna crack your head. Oh, here, buddy, get it. Yeah, buddy, get this. You're next, Gall. Now you coming? I ain't coming, Jingles. Just one more punch, Bill. Hey, you got what's left, Bill. I'm going to kill you, Hickok. This is the end of your Roman. Go! <laughs> Bill, that was the cat's whiskers. I heard it crack clear over here. Aunt Sarah would have been real thrilled. Well, I got Aunt Sarah to thank for identifying this Howl Hoop gang. You know, we may have to call her in at the trial. Well, if you do, I ain't going to be there. Because where Aunt Sarah goes, her hat pin goes, and... Where Aunt Sarah's hat pin goes, I don't want to be. Because i already been there entirely too much. 
And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Andy and I'll be back again here next Monday. Yes, sir, and we'll have a real exciting story for you about a vicious gang of jewel smugglers. It's called Mitchin and Almagordo. Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you remember to get Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Right, it's the world's only talking cereal. You bet it is. Andy and I think Kellogg's Rice Krispies are great. So long. See you Monday. <laughs> Yes, sir, Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Helen Cleve, Larry Dobkin, Fred Shields, Jack Crucian, and Dusty Walker. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Oran. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Don't forget to listen Monday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok has a mission in Almagordo. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. And Kellogg's Sugar Pops. The cereal with the sweetening already on it. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.